Hello everyone. Welcome to Football Mantra. Our first video. This is Football Tactics 101 and we're going to talk about 352 and its variations. Pep Guardiola, Antonio Conte in the Premier League have used this to very good effect. Chelsea's title winning season, they played with the same formation, a pragmatic style which is solid at the back and gives the forward players much freedom to attack. While Pep Guardiola uses it in a slightly different way, playing attacking football, short passes, creating, dominating the midfield. So, 3-5-2 formation, advantages of 3-5-2 formation. We are going to start with the centre-backs, of course. Chak, 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 three centre-backs. The advantage of having three centre-backs is you can get tight to the opposition forward or the midfielder and you have two people covering you instead of the conventional 4-2-3-1 where you have only two centre-backs. It also allows your wide full-backs to go much higher up the pitch. As you, can, as you know, most of you actually know that the full-back has been going further and further up the field starting up from the 2000s. I guess Gary Neville was a good example of that. He maybe played over here, while Kyle Walker these days plays most of his football over here. Their defensive responsibilities are much lower, thanks to these two guys. The two specialized number sixes who are defensive players, ball winners, good at tackling, have crazy endurance. Their job is simple, get the ball, are tactically astute, and pass it to the creative number tens. The creative number tens, Kevin De Bruyne or David Silva, good examples they are they have limited uh, defensive responsibility thanks to these two guys and they have freedom to go wide drift into these channels cause some damage turn with the ball and then we come to the lone striker diego costa anonymous right now no no one has any clue where he is used to play this role very well in chelsea's title winning season his job mainly was maybe to drop connect play or hold up the ball and get these two dangerous players into the game. Gabriel Jesus, on the other hand, with Man City, does a more defensive job using gig and pressing. And that's pretty much it.